Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am back at the World Champ v Pokemon Video Game Championships Regionals at Comic Fiesta in the Masters Division, Swiss Round Number Seven. I'm your commentator for today, is Smart Myron, and our contestants today are Daniel Yao and Ng Yong Jiang. Uh, Daniel Yao is a Singaporean player, while Yong Jiang is a Malaysian player. And from the data that I got from Daniel Yao, is he's participated participated in many Premier Challenges before. But due to current studies, he's not been inside the known for the meta game right now. And Daniel Yao is in the potential for being in the top cut again since he's not been around for so long. And because the statistics right now is we have two players who have already went 6-0 and 10 players who are at 5 and uh, 5 and 0. So the winners at the 10 players who are paired up among each other right now, five of them would advance into top cut, and that's very exciting. And one more player who reach 5-2 would also reach into top cut. Now, going to team preview right now, as we can see from Ng Yong Jiang and uh, Daryl Yao. Yeah, Ng Yong Jiang will be your player on the left here. Both teams we can quickly see are running Mega Charizard. Uh, Charizard, Togekiss, Landorus, Verizion, Rodan Wash, AG Slash on Ng Yong Jiang's side. Whereas on Daniel Yao on your right here, you can clearly see he's running Among Us, AG Slash, Charizard, Milotic, Landorus, and Concorde. Uh, just on general consensus right here, we can both uh, we can see both teams are running Charizards, the uh, AG Slash, and Landorus T, while the differing Pokemon are such as Among Us, Togekiss. The Rizions are very interesting, it's a very good counter to the Milotic over here. Be uh, by de uh, depending on what set the Milotic is running, whether it's a defensively build or a specially defensive build right here. Uh, Concorder looks um, not really particularly good in this match. Um, it could only, well, receive damage in my opinion or possibly go for a wide guard um, on uh, Daniel Yao's side over here. Now I'm not sure, particularly sure whether Ng Yong Jung will bring the Togekiss is a very unconventional Pokemon right now. It's a very good Tailwind setter, a very good follow me setter uh, and you can air slash, uh, air slash Paraflinch people to, <laughs> to Oblivion. As we see we go into the matches right now, Yong Jung will be our player on the left right here and Daniel Yao will be our player on the right. Uh, above the screen right now. As we see, uh, Daniel is locking in with Concorder and Among Us right now. Now, to see him lead off with the Concorder, it makes you wonder would he have Rocket up, uh, Rock Slide, you know? And Among Us is not in a very good position right now as it is very viable to air slashes and fire type attacks right here, regardless of being, uh, being, uh, being it Flamethrower, Heat Wave, Overheat, or Fire Blast as we've seen in the previous match. Now we'll have to see whether would we will anticipate because it's very easy for the Togekiss to go to for any move right now. Be it Thunder Wave if he has it, Tailwind, uh, Air Slash, or uh, yeah, those are the viable moves for it. Will we see Conqueror unveil any type of support moves right now? As we do see the Conqueror being switched out right now on Daniel's side over here, bringing in the Intimidator, uh, the Landorus team, but not providing much of a threat as both of Ng Yong Jiang's side are special attackers as you do see a Charizard X! Now that's a very that's a first in the tournament that we've seen right here as not many people tend to run Charizard X it's a very uh, viable as it's very viable to intimidate by Landra C as we've seen as you do see uh, Ng Yong Jiang gets a free Dragon Dance up now we'll have to see what does the Togekiss go for here as he goes for Air Slash possibly onto the Omnibus going for the Air Slash onto the Landra now this we have to see here oh as we do see a Protect coming out from the Among Us before, I forgot. Now, um, as we said before, um, Daniel played it a little bit too safe in my opinion just now. He could have easily gotten a Spore off as it wasn't being the target of any of the attacks. And Ng Yong Jung expected uh, it to protect being fearful of the Air Slash and the Fire Attack from Charizard. Now clearly, the Charizard will be at plus one speed right now and is a neutral attack due to the Intimidate negating the attack from negative 1 to plus 1. Um, and we've not seen uh, Tailwind coming out from uh, Togekiss right now. And he went straight for the Air Slash. As it's not definitely not Choice Scarf as we do see a Follow Me right now. Possibly anticipating a Rock Slide or a Spore for that matter as we do see a Flare Blitz going into the Blanker spot. Will it pick out a Knockout? As it does. Now that's a very... Uh, uh, there's not really a depressing side right now as we do see a spore going on to the Togekiss as it is safety goggles. 
that was a dead turn for Daniel Yao as nothing went in his way as it was a very uh, up advantage way for Eun Yong Jung as he got the better benefit of that turn just now. Now we'll have to see whether it's the Charizard Y or surprises again with another Charizard X right here. If it is Charizard Y, we'll have to see the, the, the battle between brothers of Charizards right now. I'm not sure whether Amoongus would like to stay in right now as it's very viable to Air Slash and like I say, Flamethrower or Heat Wave for that matter. It's very easy to get knocked out. I guess that's why Eun Yong Jung could easily use uh, Follow Me for that matter as none of its attacks could uh, technically hurt Togekiss for that matter unless it has Sludge Bomb. But most of uh, Among Us don't run Sludge Bomb nowadays as the special attack investment for it to do significant amounts of damage from the Among Us is very little. As we do see it's a Charizard X. Mega Charizard X ladies and gentlemen. Both players are running Mega Charizard X on their teams right now. Now this is a first for any uh, Pokemon Regionals we've seen here as we do see a Follow Me. If he were to go for a Dragon Claw right now as we do see both players going for their Follow Me Redirection attacks right now as we do see uh, Yong Jung's Charizard going for a Dragon Dance right now giving it plus 2 speed plus 1 attack and we will see a Dragon Dance both players doing the same attack but Yong Jung has the upper advantage of being plus 1 attack and plus 2 speed so, uh, will significantly outspeed uh, any Pokemon on the field right now now the question is will uh, the Dragon Claw from uh, Mega Charizard X on Yong Jung's side deal significant damage to um, the Among Us like because he could easily go for a follow me on the Togekiss as we do see a Protect coming up from Charizard and we see a Protect coming up from the Togekiss both Pokemon on that side are going for Protects right now we'll have to see what does the Among Us go for as we do see a Charizard going for a Flare Blitz onto the Among Us and it picks up does it pick up the 1-HKO? it picks up the 1-HKO over here ladies and gentlemen Redirection is gone from Daniel Yao's side over here and he is down by 2-4 to four. Oh boy, uh, Daniel Yao is in a tough position right here as he brings out the Conkleder again. Now unless his con Conkleder's wide guard isn't very viable here as that's more to of a, a counter for Mega Charizard Y's heat wave right now. But Tokyo Kids could easily go for Air Slash for a matter and Charizard could go for a Dragon Claw regardless unless the Conkleder's Mark Punch could... Uh, well, never mind as Tokyo Kids does go for a follow me so whatever Conkleder does it will hit the Togekiss spot as we do see a Dragon Claw coming from Mega Charizard X uh, and as it knocks out 1 he KOs Mega Charizard X on Daniel Yao's side oh my goodness there's so many Mega Charizard X on the field right now ladies and gentlemen as the Ice Punch does bring it to 50% HP but there's nothing much that Daniel Yao can do as he's down by 4 to 1 on Eun Yong Jung having the advantage over here as the match is forfeited and there it goes wow both both players were running Mega Charizard X. That, that was very unconventional over here. Because most of the time when you see a Charizard, you think, oh, automatically, that's a Mega Charizard Y over there. As it has stab heat waves, it has a very high special attack stat. Um, it can deal um, double, uh, double po it can target double Pokemon, two Pokemons on the field. So it was very surprising on Daniel Yao's expression when he saw Eung Yong Jung's Charizard Mega Evolve to Mega Charizard X for that matter. And it was cool because to see, because one Pokemon had Togekiss which was the fairy type to negate any dragon type coming out from the Mega Charizard Y uh, from Mega Charizard X for that matters Dragon Claw and yeah the, the battle of redirection and who can get the better Dragon Dance in that position right now uh, as we do saw Eun Yong Jung had the upper advantage throughout the whole way as he had the Dragon Dance earlier to negate the minus one attack into neutral and he got double Dragon Dance for that matter as the Rage Powder and Follow Me for that matter now that's a battle because Togekiss had the upper hand to air slash the Among Us to death for that matter. And the follow me and rage powder debate. Because the Mega Charizard X couldn't safely attack Eung Yong Jung's Mega Charizard X as the Dragon Claw would hit Togekiss due to the follow me and it has no effect since it's a fairy type. That was a very interesting match and it was very unconventional. I was happy to see a match like that happen in this Pokemon Regionals. Albeit being safe from Daniel Yao's side he did pay the price for not taking risky moves with the Conkleder earlier to take more damage to deal significantly more damage onto the Togekiss side right here and yeah that's a, that was it for our round 7 right now later after this we'll be uh, going into top cut and I can't wait for the matches from pros the best of the best here at our regional championships I'm your commentator for today Ismail Myron and I'll catch you all later at top cut